NACL, salt. Now get a load of this one. C3H5, N3O9, nitroglycerin, the highly explosive oily liquid used for making dynamite. Your greatest laboratory investment is comprehensive insurance coverage. Pursuing science can incur surprisingly high medical costs. This eye wash has a spring-loaded diverter valve that allows both eyes to be rinsed simultaneously while providing a continuous supply of clean water. After the eye wash is activated, both hands are free to hold eyelids open. If you're looking for an affordable eye wash, that is easy to install without the need of a plumber, choose the Flynn SC1040 eye wash. Faster, faster! More, more, momentum! Careful, huh? Scientists have had to study teensy weensy germs under a powerful microscope. But now, the German larger makes the microscope obsolete. Comes out of your pay, Beaker. Here in this dish is isolated a sample of the deadly germ Streptococcus yuccotherium. Now, watch what happens when Beaker adds one drop of German larger. how easy it is now for Beaker to study that germ. <laughs> ah, pond scum. Reminds me of when I was a kid back at summer camp. As you know, once removed from the bunch, bananas cannot be reinserted. <laughs> this results in extra bananas lying around underfoot, where they can be hazardous to your health. Red cabbage, boiling water. Mm -hmm produce this liquid. Okay. So Craig, if you would, just put the schminkiest tiny schmink of vinegar mm -hmm. into this one. Just a little vinegar, just a drop. A little, yeah, well, use your judgment. We're, whoa, it turned red as if by magic. It's not magic, it's vinegar. Science. Science, Science. Yes. Science. Now, the honor of tasting this first batch of delicious paper clips goes, of course, to my helpful and eager assistant, Beaker. Uh -uh. Oh, Beaker, what is the matter? Oh, that's very naughty, Beaker. Now, you eat these clips this minute. Go on, eat. You're not so bad. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Yes, friends, Muppets edible paper clips are delicious, nutritious, and nickel-plated. They're handy around the office, and they're wonderful as a TV snack. Furthermore, they are absolutely harmless. <laughs> or nearly so. I felt like it was a total waste if I just threw them out, though. So instead, I decided to have some fun with it.
With the next few additions, it actually kind of seemed okay, but then on one of them, it decided to pop and make a mess. This was really not surprising, and I kind of thought this would happen. To clean this up, I rinsed the paper and added the water to the bowl, and then I let it cool down overnight. The next day, I tested the pH, and it was still slightly acidic, so I had to add some more hydroxide. Consider the following. Here, I, I've got an experiment for you. Safety glasses on. But first, safety glasses on. Okay, safety glasses on. The average temperature on Earth could go up another 4 to 8 degrees. What I'm saying is the planet's on f***ing fire. There are a lot of things we could do to put it out. Are any of them free? No, of course not. Nothing's free, you idiots. Grow the f*** up. You're not children anymore. I didn't mind explaining photosynthesis to you when you were 12, but you're adults now, and this is an actual crisis. Got it? Safety glasses off, mother Yeah. Start the rubber belt turning. Electrical charges are being deposited on the metal ball. They're running through my arm and being deposited in me. And look, it's building up in my rocker wig of science. What I find interesting is that a lot of these combinations are able to be done safely, and they are sometimes done purposely. For example, for some chemical reactions, you need to combine sodium with alcohols, and I've done this a couple times on the channel. I also made a video where I combined sulfuric acid with potassium permanganate to make the really unstable manganese heptoxide. So, it's not that you can never combine these chemicals ever, it's that you just have to know what you're doing and be prepared to handle the reaction that will happen. It's only when it's accidental and you don't expect it that it starts becoming dangerous. It's also really not uncommon to hear about lab accidents that were caused by mixing incompatible chemicals. Uh, you shouldn't pour antifreeze down storm drains because a lot of times that stuff flows right into the nearest body of water. You should recycle it. Okay. Hey, thanks. For most basic work, I just use these nitrile gloves, but it's always important to be aware of what the glove material is compatible with. For example, in a video that I made a while ago about nitric acid, I showed that when it's pure, it can light nitrile on fire. I also showed that it didn't react or do much to skin, so in this case, it was safer to not use any gloves at all. However, there are other materials, like some vinyl gloves, that I could have safely worn. Chemicals mixed with oxygen in the air usually give off heat. Yeah. Wow, this is pretty cool. It's like a big swirling chemical reaction. Yeah, we call it the tornado of fire. Wow. Hey, you know what else is a really cool chemical reaction? Okay. Carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. Oh, Kermit the Frog here at UL Labs with Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. Thank you, Mr. Kermit. Now let's talk about fire safety. Mm -hmm. Always be careful around open flames. Did you know that a candle can reach a thousand degrees? Yes, I did. Mm. And that's why you should always keep a fire extinguisher <laughs> handy. <laughs> just in case there's a fire. <laughs> there's a fire. The uh, there's a uh, fire. Hey, Excuse oh. me, Dr. Honeydew, but Baker is on fire! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And now, ASAP Science presents the elements of the periodic table. There's... Equilibrium. 
So when you're on the side of the road and, or you're in a parking lot and you're, you're cursing because you've you know, left your headlights on in your car and the battery has died, and you're angry about that, you can have a little bit of a silver lining and your battery has just reached its happy place. It's reached equilibrium. You can see it. Look, it's like a seesaw. Seesaw. Oh, that's all getting floppy. Seesaw. <laughs> Whereas when I'm feeling under low pressure, you know, and I'm feeling good and I'm feeling relaxed and I don't have any pressure on me from work or anything like that, that's the time that I want to go to a party where there's lots of people. So when I'm under low pressure, I want to go to the places where there are more people. Low pressure, more holes of gas. Letter A says, write the KP expression. Notice it doesn't say KC, it says KP. So whenever we make a change to a sample of gas, I want you to ask yourself, is what we're doing causing there to be more hits, more frequent collisions on the side of the container? Okay. Or is what we're doing causing there to be fewer? Field conditions are at high temperature and low pressure. Can you remember the, the phrase hot lips? HT, high temperature. LP, low pressure. And we're going to look at this graphically and just prepare yourself for some pretty intense graphics here. I mean, if this whole teaching thing does not work out for me, I think that I have a career in graphic design. I mean, that graph is really something. <laughs> is these sheets can slide past each other very pretty easily because the pie bonds are relatively easily broken. And malleable just means a material that you can bend it, so it's not brittle. It doesn't shatter. It doesn't shear off. It's just bendable. Now, this is key. Are you listening? So number five, intersect. Don't move the cursor. Don't move the cursor. It's going to say first curve, and you're just going to say enter. Second curve, enter. Yes, enter. Just hit enter, enter, enter. Don't move the cursor. I personally find these, these Hess's Law problems to be kind of fun. I mean, it's, it's almost like a little puzzle when you have to figure it out. So if you would like a challenge question, I have one for you. If you don't, then you, you're, you're done with this video. But all you are really doing is causing the particles to move faster and faster and faster. Okay. It's like the bond releases a, a sigh of relief, like, oh, like it releases energy. That is an exothermic process. So I want to wish you luck in whatever future endeavors come your way. So see you later.